How's it going everyone? This is the old gaming blog with some Black Ops 2 gameplay and in this video I want to tell you guys 5 things I would add uh, on Steam, 5 features I would add to Steam in no particular order. I'm gonna go from the first to fifth. Uh, you guys feel free to leave me a comment with your suggestions. So the first feature that I would add uh, would be gamer score. All right. So like on the PlayStation One and Xbox 360, you do have something that's called the game score, which basically shows the uh, accumulation of all the trophies of the games that you have and all the achievements and unlockments and unlocks that you have done uh, up to that point. I think that's great. Um, I think that's a feature that Steam is missing at the moment. And I think that should they should have had something similar to that, where it basically just shows your score and basically shows all the trophies that you have with all the games that are attached to those trophies and then uh, a similar system probably probably a little bit different and a little bit more evolved. Um, there's still lack of it, but I hope we see it on a, uh, on a near future. Alright, number two. Live streaming. That's right. Uh, Steam is currently missing the live streaming features, which I would love to see them there. Uh, currently, right now, we have to use a third-party software to live stream, such as uh, XSplit, XFire, whatever, whatever is your favorite software to stream. I wish that Steam had a bigger and better Twitch forward slash YouTube integration. Uh, I wish they would let you share the game footage better and, and just press one button to live stream to those websites and just use Steam itself as a live streaming uh, tool instead of you know, not being to. Uh, another thing that they could add to that is basically on the game page, you could see the game and uh, at one side, like one box with four, uh, four times four, they should show the community videos of that game, so you guys can see better gameplay uh, of that, uh, of that related to that game. That's one of the features I wish they had. It. Number three. Speaking of live streaming, we could also see uh, recording. So instead of, of using, uh, ad again, another third party software like Fraps or Bandicam, I think Steam could have its own recording software. Especially with the new uh, generation of consoles being all about being able to record your games. Like the PlayStation 4 has a, a share button. Uh, you press one button and it starts recording your game nearly instantly. It also lets uh, players that are on your fr friends list that don't have the game to watch your game and even participate. That is a great advantage that that you can do uh, they're basically Sony is basically thinking taking the uh, this recording and sharing to a whole new level I'm not saying Steam should imitate or do exactly the same but they should bring something uh, to that particular again in, uh, in order for me to record the games that I play I have to go on Steam go on the game and then you know bring a penny cam of fraps to record my video game footage and thing they could do with it as well is um, you know letting you add your little web camera at one of the corners that would be a fantastic feature that I would love to see. Alright, let's go to number four. User reviews on store pages. No, I'm not talking about Metacritic bullshit that we see on, on these reviews. Or the fake uh, IGN reviews that rate terrible games very high because they pay them to uh, for them to just overlook the, the terrible game and just put it right. I'm talking about reviews from users who actually bought the game. Alright, so like a, rate, a star rating system uh, or just a th uh, likes dislike system, whatever, man. Uh, implemented in there, and again, another little box with the users. Only people that purchased the game can comment, though. And a little box with the users, just saying, you know, I like this game, and like uh, with a simple layout, you don't have to put this much. I like this game because of this, 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 and that. Or just put the features in the game, that, and you just gotta put liked or disliked, and uh, therefore. The creators of the game get user feedback directly from the people that who actually purchased the game. And uh, the people that are undecided about buying or not buying the game would actually, uh, you know, have a better idea. Right now, reviews do actually uh, influence a lot of buyers' decisions, but then you gotta look for them and you gotta trust the person that's doing it. User-generated content is very, very powerful, not only with the videos type, like I said before, but also just... Um, with the reviews as well, or with the rating systems on games, the, uh, maybe then we would see less accidents, accidents happening, like with the, uh, you know, that zombies game that we all know and hate. Anyways, moving on to the last but not least, five voice chats. All right, some sort of Skype integration, maybe. 
uh, kind of like on Xbox 360 party chats, which is Xbox 360 is actually praised before uh, because of that party chat, and a lot of users actually go there just to socialize. So Steam does have a chat window, but it's kind of annoying when you're trying to interrupt your gameplay to play with that chat window, especially that games that don't offer uh, the uh, chat options. Now, there are some games that do offer it, but there are some games that don't offer it. And you want to talk to your team. So again, you got to use another third-party software, kind of like Skype, Ventrilo, whatever, TeamSpeak, whatever it is, you got to use it. Um, if they were to integrate a party chat, chats kind of like Xbox Live, where you don't even have to be in the game, you, you can just chat with people in the chat room, voice chat, video chat, text chat, whilst you're playing the games, while you're not playing a game, whatever. I think they should integrate something to that extent so we see something better. Guys, this is all I could think of for the time being. I'm sure you guys have very, uh, have a lot better suggestions than me, for example. And you guys should have a lot better, uh, ideas to improve Steam. Steam is a very powerful application in my opinion and it also does deliver very good gaming, uh, you know, very good gaming deals. It's one of my, f it's become one of my favorites and I've been using it for nearly four years now. So, with that being said, this has been the All Gaming Blog. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I also want to leave a huge thank to all my subscribers because I have a, f a lot of them now. I've been getting a lot of them recently. So I want to leave a big thanks to all of of you that subscribe and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for you can just press one button and that's it see all the videos that i put up every day for you guys also if you were to give it a like that would be fantastic but you don't feel forced to anyways again leave me a comment with your opinions i definitely will read almost all my comments and reply to them and uh, thanks a lot for watching this video guys peace